I'm in Flagstaff, Arizona at the Flagstaff Depot right now. The depot was built in 1926. I'll be catching the Southwest Chief early tomorrow morning. It's been pouring down rain and hailing, thunder, lightning, and I can't check into my hotel yet. So I've been here hanging out, watching the trains, and I'm gonna go in the gift shop and check out the gift shop. While I was in the visitor center, I took the opportunity to ask the employee about the tunnels that run underground in downtown Flagstaff. And she told me that one of the tunnels actually comes up in the depot. She said to take a look around. She wasn't sure exactly where it was, but she said to look for a little door and she described it as a hobbit door. So the inside of the depot was actually closed at the time. So I walked around the outside. I took a few pictures and could not find any door. The next morning, I got ready to take my train to uh, Kansas City. And I'm sitting there in the depot and I'm looking around and I see this little door. It's weird shaped. So I took a picture of it so you could see. And uh, I decided, well, let me go check with the Amtrak desk. I asked the guy, I said, I had heard that there's a tunnel that comes up inside the depot. Is that door related to the tunnel? And he smiled at me and he said, oh, you know about the tunnels. I said, yes. And he said, would you like to go down there? I said, absolutely, I'd like to go down there. So he ended up taking me downstairs and showing me around. This is the tunnel. So um, they, of course, they blocked it. Oh, okay. um, but that right here is, I don't know how to open this, but back here, that's actually the, the tunnel. Oh, okay. Back there. So they put this window here, and then, of course, they... Oh, very cool. This is, this is our basement. Yeah. But um, from here, supposedly I've gone like across the street or something. Yeah, and they said, it, I think a part of it goes up over to, across over to the other building over there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I haven't been there. But. Yeah. Oh, very oh, yeah. cool. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Yeah, so, then there's like the, the small drainage and then, of course, the old piping. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, that's, that's, it's back there. Yeah, thank you so much. That is so cool. I wish I can go back there too. But... Yeah. You just made my trip. <laughs> there Here's my train. supposed to board the train at 420 this morning but they had engine troubles so we ended up being uh, I guess it was about two hours late so we got on board about 615 or so just in time for breakfast now we're just driving through the desert area looking at the scenery Winslow was and still is the headquarters for the Santa Fe Railway the Winslow Depot was constructed by the Atchison, Topeka, and Santa Fe Railway, known as the Santa Fe, in 1929 to 1930. We just left Winslow, Arizona. Our next stop should be Gallup, New Mexico.
was founded in 1881 as part of the Southern Rail Route for the Transcontinental Railroad. An interesting fact is the Zumi Pueblo here it is believed to be one of the fabled seven cities of gold. The seven cities of gold are the mythical lands that the Spanish of the 16th century believed existed somewhere in the Southwest. The original depot in Albuquerque was built in 1902, but it burnt down in 1993. It's listed in the New Mexico State Register of Historic Places. This trip several times and occasionally we get some pretty funny Amtrak employees on board and this happened to be one of those times. So since we moved through this part of your, the, the state, keep your eyes peeled for wildlife. We do see a lot of elk and deer. We also see bears. I'm not talking about bears. You see the eagle for Sunday beer bus. I'm talking about New Mexico black bears. Uh, see Bigfoot and the abominable snowman. Chupacabra. Uh, the Loch Ness Monster. Jackalopes. And this area is amazing for snipe hunting. If you've never gone snipe hunting, you didn't grow up right. And if anybody's interested in going snipe hump hunting, I will be more than happy to take you. We're almost to Lamy. 
It's on the left side of the train. The station was built in 1909. Scientists from all over the country were secretly brought here during World War II. After being processed in Santa Fe, their final destination was to work on highly secretive projects in Los Alamos. I did a video on Los Alamos a few years ago, a very interesting place, and I'll put a link to that uh, video in here. Well, we are at Laney Depot, and as you can see, it's raining, so I don't have a very good view. I'm trying to give you the best view I can out the window, and we cannot open the doors to the train, so we can't get off here, but this is Laney. After leaving Lamy, we're going to travel through Apache Canyon. In 1862, there was a Civil War battle here. After Apache Canyon, we'll be traveling through Navajo Nation Reservation and into the Santa Fe National Forest. starting to rain again. It looks like uh, we're going into the forest now. But I don't know if you can tell back there, some of the walls of the Apache Canyon were so close it seemed like they were only inches from the train. Soon we'll be arriving in Las Vegas, New Mexico. Las Vegas is an 1835 railroad town that was reportedly once visited by Billy the Kid, Jesse James, and Doc Holliday. There are more than 900 historic buildings in Las Vegas, New Mexico. And as you can see, we've got our destination lifesaver engine pulling our train. Sea tracks, big train. We just went by Wagon Mound our way to Raton. Oh, there's an antelope.
Mexico now. And this is the historic train depot. It was built in 1903. Next up will be La Junta, Colorado. La Junta means intersection in Spanish. It was the intersection at the end of the Santa Fe Trail and the road to Pueblo, Colorado. Once again, do not go into the depot. Do not go to Love's. Do not go to Safeway. You will not make it back in time, I guarantee it. You'll have approximately 10 minutes here on the platform. Thank you for choosing Amtrak and have a good morning.
fuel and we'll continue on to Kansas City. Once we start moving, we'll be about 15 minutes to our next stop, Kansas City. Again, this is not a passenger stop. This is only for fuel. It takes about 10 minutes. Thank you. Kansas City Union Station is said to be one of the most beautiful train stations in the world. It's famous for a few reasons, one of which is the Union Station Massacre of 1933, when convicted mobster Frank Nash was unexpectedly shot and killed outside the station during what turned out to be a shootout. Nash and four police officers were killed. Those who frequent the train station today claim they can see the scars of the station's facade from the bullets. This is the end of the line for me. In a few days, I'll be boarding the train for my return trip home. We'll catch up with you guys later. Safe travels.